Good day, students. My name is Fanny Yi Sunday Olateju, your literature and English teacher. Our topic for today's literature lesson is the analysis of non-African prose titled Native Son by Richard Wright. Lesson objectives. At the end of the lesson, students should be able to interpret the novel, analyze the novel in terms of narrative techniques, discuss the characters and their roles in the novel, and explain events in the novel. Plot summary. The novel is divided into three parts. Title, book one, book two, book three. Book one is titled Fear. Bigger Thomas, the protagonist and the, a 20-year-old black young man, is living in one room with the other members of the family. Suddenly, a stubborn rat appears and Bigger kills the rodent with an iron skillet. Bigger Thomas is scheduled to attend a job interview, which is to serve as the lifeline for the Thomases. Bigger's reluctant action worries his mother, who knows the implication that the family will be cut off from welfare supply if the eldest child that is bigger refuses to take this important job over. Bigger and his friends plan to rob a white man that is Mr. Bloom's store, but when Bigger think, thinks of the implications, he disrupts the plan. In the evening, Bigger pays a visit to Mr. Dutton, a white man, who employs him as a driver. Mr. Dutton and Mrs. Dutton, who is a blind woman, are trying to be kind to Bigger. The first assignment of Bigger is to drive Mary, the only daughter of Mr. Dutton, to the university campus. But Mary changes the plan and asks Bigger to drive her to the house of her communist boyfriend called Jan. Throughout the evening, Jan and Mary enjoy by eating and drinking bottles of rum. At last, Jan departs, but Mary is too drunk that Bigger has to carry her to her bedroom when they arrive home. Just then, Mrs. Dutton enters the room Frightening of the consequences if he, a black man, were to be found in Mary's bedroom, he silences Mary's by pressing a pillow into her face. Immediately, Mrs. Dutton leaves. Bigger removes the pillows and discovers that Mary has been suffocated to death. To cover the homicide, Bigger decides in desperation to cut Mary's body into pieces and burn Mary's body in the house furnace. Book two is titled Flight. In the morning, Mary could not be found. Mr. Dutton has invited a private investigator called Mr. Breathing to interrogate Began, who narrates the events of the last night in a way calculated to throw suspicion on Jan. Mr. Britain absolves Jan from any blame, but condemns Bigger. But Mr. Dutton vouches for Bigger's character. Bigger runs away from Mr. Dutton's house and decides to write a false kidnapping note demanding a ransom of $10,000. He sleeves the note under Mr. Dutton's front door. When Mr. Dutton received the note, he contacts the police and journalists soon arrive at the house. In the afternoon, Bigger is ordered to take the ashes out of Funis and make a new fire. But one of the journalists takes the shovel from Bigger to make the new fire. He immediately finds the remains of Mary's bones and an earrings in the furnace. 
and bigger flees. Bigger goes directly to Bessie, his girlfriend, and tells us the whole story. They live together, but Bigger realizes that Bessie is becoming an impediment. He kills her by throwing her through a window. Bigger runs through the city as the newspaper headlines condemn him as a rapist. After a wide chase over, over the rooftop of the city, the police catch him. We will pause here briefly. So then, welcome to the second segment, which is the continuation of a plot summary. Book 3 is titled Fate. During his first few days in prison, Bigger does not eat, drink, or talk to anyone. Jan comes to visit him and offers him the help of a communist lawyer named Boris Mas. Bigger is found guilty in front of the court and sentenced to death for murder. The next segment is thematic preoccupation of the novel, Native Son. A. Racial discrimination and racial oppression. The white race is presented in the novel as superior and more powerful than blacks. The white race dehumanizes, oppresses, depresses, exploits, and dictates to the black race. The instances of racial discrimination are the following. 1. Bigger is a black, hence he is denied the opportunity to attend the school where he could, where he could be trained as an aviator. 2. Because Bigger is black, the only placement available to him in the military is that of a supporting mania personnel. 3. As a black man, the only business available for Bigger is a funeral parlor business. 4. Goods of the same quantity and quality are sold at the different prices based on the color of the buyer. 5. Blacks are restricted to live in the black belt and not allowed to cross the line to the white district. 6. Blacks are made to pay rent that are highly exorbitant and far above the quality of the apartment they live in. 7. Blacks are only employed to do many jobs in the service of white families. Bessie works as a domestic servant while Bigger is employed as a driver. It must be noted that not all whites are buyers, but few of them, like Jan, Mary, and Mars, are liberal to see the lack of basis for racial oppression of blacks. B. Another theme violence. This is another important theme in the novel, and the examples are 1. The violent killing of the stubborn rat by the bigger and his sibling is a symbolic pointer of the later instances of violence in the story. 2. In order to frustrate the plan to rob a white man's store, Bigger places a knife's blade on the girl's throat and almost terminates his life. 3. Although the mother of Mary is accidental, the action of Bigger depicts a violent one, as Mary is suffocated when Bigger puts pillow forcefully on Mary's face. In order to cover the crime, Bigger cuts, cuts off the Mary's head and throws it and the rest of the body into the furnace. 4. Bigger also terminates the life of Basin by eating her head with a heavy brick and eventually throw her body down the hair shaft from the fourth floor of the story building. See, another theme is fear. The instances of fear are the following. 1. The appearances of the stubborn rat inspire fear in the minds of the Thomases. Even Vera faints when Bigger 
dangles the dead rat in Pharaoh's face. Two, it is out of fear that makes Bigger to suffocate Mary to death. Because if the black boy that is Bigger is detected in a white lady's, that is Mary's room, the consequence will be far reaching. Three, it is fear that makes Bigger to destroy the plan to rob the white man's shop. Four, it is fear which makes Bigger to initially agree with his mother to consider the Dutton's job offer because the family welfare relief will be cut off. Five, Bigger becomes afraid after fully confessing his crime of killing Mary to Bessie. He believes that Bessie will betray him if she is left behind. Students, we will pause here briefly. Students, welcome to the last segment of today's program, which is language and style of native son. Hey, African American vernacular English. This is also known as black vernacular English. This is a variety of English natively spoken by most working and lower classes of African Americans. It has its own unique grammatical, vocabulary, and accent features. All the blacks character in the novels use this version of English. As Reverend Amon, the black preacher's speeches demonstrated. He says, beginning of quotation, Forget your black. God looks past your skin and enter your soul, son. End of quotation. Page 313. Another style is the use of irony. The use of irony is prevalent in the novel. And some examples are, One, Bigger has been oriented to look at the white people as his enemies and oppressors. In meeting Mary and John, Providence, Providence brings white friends his way. Bigger develops unmitigated hatred towards John and Mary. Two, it is also ironical that John whom Bigger tried to implicate in the investigation of Mary's death, would later take both steps to free Bigger of culpability in the homicide. He brings Marx, a lawyer, to her as, as his counsel in the court. 3. Why Mr. Dutton is struggling to search for Mary? And searches are aimed in other directions. The abductor that is bigger is right inside Mr. Dutton's house. Even Mr. Dutton is ready to pay $10,000 as ransom for the release of his daughter. 4. While bigger is restricted to a cell in prison, he feels freed and fulfilled, but outside, he feels constrained. With the accidental killings of Mary, he feels happy inside the prison. Another aspect of style is symbolism. There are many examples of symbolism in the novel, but prominent ones are 1. The violent killing of the stubborn rat by Bigger is a symbolic pointer of later instances of violence in the story. 2. The violent killing of the rat is a replica of how whites deal with the black race. 3. Characters like Jan, Max, and Mary are generous and selfless white folks and symbolically take the anti-racist stand. 4. Mr. Dutton is an epitome of capitalism because 
He exploits the blacks by making his sweat out of them, but turns around to give them a peanut of the wet as a welfare package. 5. Bigatomos is a symbolic representation of different belief systems, worldviews, and attitude of blacks to the draconian system in which they find themselves. 6. On a symbolic terrain, Mrs. Dutton's blindness is the inability of white Americans as a whole to see black Americans as anything other than the embodiment of inferior human beings. Another style is absence of chapter. Native Son is divided into three books titled Fear, Flight, and Faith. There is no conventional division to chapters in the novel. Likely examination questions. Discuss the theme of racial discrimination in the novel. Two, examine three aspects of style in the novel. Bibliography. Fanny S.O. 2014. Exam Reflection Literature in English, Drama and Prose for Waheg and Neko, 2016 to 2020.